It is 10 a.m. in the Somali capital Mogadishu and as you can see, it is a very busy day at Aden Abdul International Airport, a development that was once a dream for Somalia a few years back. With the Somali economy gradually recovering from decades of insurgence and terrorism, many believe that it is the right time to invest in various sectors. Demand is very high coming from the United States and Europe. And, and, and traveling to Mogadishu through Uganda, but you are forced 99% through Kenya or Ethiopia and seek a different route to come to Mogadishu, to come to Somalia. And this will enable Air Uganda to take advantage of all those connections coming from abroad to EPP. This is going to reduce time for the Somalis and the Ugandans who want to come here. And this will help to cement our relationship further and will promote communication between the people, business, goods. That is why Air Uganda has unveiled its operations with three flights a week from Entebbe to Mogadishu, making it the ninth destination on Air Uganda's network. The potential is there, but there's so much time wasted going through different airports before you actually get to your destination. So for us, it's the potential that lies in this market. And if you think about it, the security is getting better. With UPDF and AMISOM and the UN, there's so much happening. And I believe by the end of this year, there will be more airlines venturing to come into According to Somali government officials, the current peace and economic growth wouldn't have been possible without AMISOM intervention. We do everything in our ability to make sure that airport is safe. Uh, more importantly, AMISOM contingent is, 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 is particularly responsible ensuring that security, if you ask me directly, and I'm glad that they are also sitting with us here. The direct flights to Mogadishu are part of the Air Uganda's expansion plan aimed at linking cities in Africa through its Entebbe hub. Having toiled so much for decades to attain peace, Somalia is now making major strides towards achieving economic recovery. Dennis Igoa, UBC News in Mogadishu.